Is my first house. Um, it's a card kit that slots together. Um, this is what it looks like eventually, so it'll be two terraced houses. I'm going to open it up now and try and put it together. This is the finished article, my first house. Yeah, it is really, really detailed. Obviously, there's a front, little individual paving slabs and everything out the front. Spin it around. You've got access in there, so back door, shed, little back gate exactly the same the other side with the success of my house the other day i've now bought a further five so i got some more buildings so i now have the coaching in which is going to be my pub i've got the low relief terrace so they're going to go against the wall got two lots of those i've got a row of terrace shops and i've got a village shop and a cafe. I'll show you when they're all built. I now have a pub for my layout. Welcome to the coach and horses. It's really, really detailed. This one was a lot harder to build than the other one, but I do like it. Little courtyard and everything in there. Horse you can see right through there as well. And then back round to the front. Today I'm attempting to build these ones. These are low relief, so they will go against the wall in the train room, so they have no backs on them. So let's see how easy this is. Here are my finished terraced houses. They look really, really good. And they're really, really easy to build, actually. Um, the only problem I have had is they don't line up there. But that's not a major problem. You won't notice that once it's on the on the layout. So these are going to go against one of the back walls. And I will show you where I'm going to put them. Time for another build on the houses. Today I'm building the village shop and the cafe. To go with all the others I've got. That's all the bits out of the box. So you've got the instructions. The two sheets with the cutouts. And the bit, the bit this bit here is for the floorings and stuff like that. And supports. So hopefully it should only take me a couple of hours to do. It's complete. I now have a post office and a cafe. It's really, really detailed. Um, obviously you've got the entrance there. You've got a little entrance there into the cafe. If I turn it round, you've got a little block on the side here. A little door down there. Turn it round again. And you've got what's supposed to be a little toilet block there. It, again, it's really, really detailed. And that will fit nicely on my layout. This is the last one of the ones I bought. So I'm going to put this together now. And then I'll show you how they all look on the on the layout. My terraced houses are now complete. Got a total of eight terraced houses. All the way along there with different doors, different gates. And then on the end I've got four terrace shops. So I've got the bakery, the fruit and veg shop, the model shop and the chippy. And if you look inside the windows, you can, I don't know if you can see that. So that one there. Shows you that the fish and chip shop has got for sale. This one there, the model shop has got models in the window. So if you look in there, I actually think the yellow bit there says Hornby. Fruit and veg has got fruit and veg up. And the last one has got um, bakery stuff in it. So rolls and things like that. I'm really, really pleased with how they look. Um, so they'll go on the right hand wall behind the crossing. I'll put them in there in a bit and show you what they look like. Hey guys, I'm back out here again. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually been out here, but as you will have seen, I will have done all the houses and stuff like that. I haven't actually shown you what they look like on my layout, so I'm about to do that now. So this is my finished pub, the coaching horses. I've now got all the slabs and everything around the outside of it as well. Um, it's going to sit here at the edge of the car park, the edge of the station. Over here, I've got my little cafe and the old post office. That's going to sit there um i'm now planning to fill that with grass uh i've had a little bit of a change around as well so obviously i've got one of the completed houses there 
I need three more completed houses there. I was on this section here. I was going to put more of those houses back to back here. Um, I think it won't look right. I think it will look too crowded. So I'm going to turn this into a grassed area. Maybe a little pond on here. I'm going to put. I'm going to put my little memorial that I've got on there as well. Um, I say maybe even a football pitch we'll see and then over here i've now got my terrace houses so i've got a row of uh six to eight terrace houses plus three little shops i've got brown's bakery old fields fruit and veg the model shop and the chip yard they look really really cool i'm really really pleased how they look so obviously where the join is here this is going to be covered up with trees and stuff like that. there's going to be fencing running down the outside um but yeah looking good so far also, since you last saw me, um, I have a few new bits. A couple of our subscribers, um, Martin and Michelle Petit, um, they follow us and they sent me a message a couple of weeks ago basically saying that they've got some train stuff that they found and would I like it. So thank you so much, guys. It's really, really good. But I'm going to show you now what they've given me. So to start with, I have a huge, great big bag of track, which I've got to go through. And um, there's all sorts in there, points and corner points and all sorts. So I'll go through that at some point. I have a plastic tunnel. I have a station building. I have a single engine shed that looks really, really good condition. I have a signal box, another station building, some platform, some tunnel entrances. So again, thank you guys. Um, that's really, really much appreciated. And I shall put most of this to good use. I've been out here today doing my first attempts at paving. So this is how my paving is currently looking. It's really, really fiddly because you have to put, I'll show you. I have to take the individual little squares off here and put them on there. So I've been here for a while, um, it's taken a while, I haven't got the matching bits, so I've kind of had to mix, mix and match a little bit. Um, I still think it looks quite good. So this is going to run all the way over here to the pub. This is also then going to extend along here, around the steps, and then around. But yeah, for a first attempt, I don't think it looks too bad. 